the biggest thing that's going to make people actually tune into you, follow you, subscribe to you, and all the rest of it, the thing that will make you grow, is going to be the quality of your content, the consistency of what you do, and all the things that relate to that. Hello, how you doing? I'm Machine Dana, and in this video, we're talking about subscriber refunds within 10 minutes and the drama that this caused. And of course, we'll be testing it and we'll be showing you exactly what this means to you as a streamer, discussing some of the finer points of this, and of course, then talking about the implications of what this means, and then updating you on Twitch's new policy on this. So, hello and welcome. I'm Machine Dana. I create content for people like you, streamers, uh, YouTube creators, things like that. Recently, a user called Old Loco had put out a tweet to talk about a new category that Twitch has added to their subscriber refund feedback loop. As part of that feedback loop, you could basically say, I was just asking for a shout out. I mean, it doesn't get a great deal more brazen than that if you're paying money for a shout out and then getting a refund. <laughs> I like to think that the vast majority of people that are subscribing to channels would not be doing it for a shout out. But the fact that this is even an option for people is obviously not a good thing. So you've got trolls or promo hungry people or just basically unscrupulous people that could potentially do this. So the essence of this is that someone that subscribes to your channel within 10 minutes can go to their panel settings, the subscription panel, and get a refund on their subscription. It's pretty easy to do. You can do this within 10, 20 seconds. I did test this with someone, so I'm gonna show you a test in the video. Like the video if you do find this information useful. Let me know in the comments what you actually think of this, if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Let me know if you suspect anyone on your channel of doing this regularly or not. This tweet kind of blew up a little bit. It got like 2,000 likes and so on and so forth. As Twitch streamers, as businesses, we are liable for retail law. We have to comply with retail laws and that varies per country. Refunds on digital products is a part of that. In general terms, refunds on digital products are non-refundable because in general terms, you get the product straight away. Subscriptions are a little bit different because the benefit of a subscription lasts essentially the whole month. So if you get an instant refund, the person isn't getting the full benefit of that. So I can see why this would be an option, but not if someone is purely just wanting a shout out because they've obviously already had the benefit that they wanted and that they've paid for. My opinion is that this really isn't good at all, to be honest. And I also just think it muddies the water a little bit for streamers. It doesn't help you to actually understand exactly what your subscriber numbers are and things like that. I also think it was a mistake for Twitch to add this as a option. Twitch have since removed this option something like a day or two later. They talk about not wanting to encourage refunds. Of course, they're not going to want to encourage refunds on a platform that they make money on. I sometimes wonder if maybe Twitch do controversial things to create drama and get into the headlines a little bit, to be honest. But who knows? That's just an opinion. If you do find this useful, like the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you want to check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana, feel free to do that as well. Otherwise, let's roll with the testing. Okay, so I'm going to do a test sub here. This is James Buckley. He's from the Inbetweeners. He's an absolute legend. Go follow him. He is an awesome guy and he's really funny, really entertaining, plays a variety of games. But I'm sorry, James. I'm going to be subscribing to you. I'm going to be then getting a refund just to test this for the sake of the video it's for educational purposes. But don't worry, I'm going to donate to you through PayPal to pay for the actual, yeah, to refund the refund, if that makes sense. So this is the purchase itself. No options to refund, obviously, at this point. Can I sing a song? Uh, machine Dana. Well, so there we go. Club. Uh, please head over to completely make dot live. Log in with your Twitch details and let me know. If he has. He has game. given me a shout out, but I feel really bad for it anyway. But right, I'm, I'm going to get a refund on that and see if that works. And then I'm going to donate to him to refund the refund because I feel really bad. <laughs> It's not actually obvious where to get the refund from. So that in itself is a good thing from Twitch, of course. In e-commerce, and I've got five or six years of experience in e-commerce on the commercial side of things, including with contracts, it shouldn't be obvious where you can get refunds from the point of view of it encouraging refunds, but it should be obvious enough that somebody should be able to get a refund if they need it. And obviously the laws change depending on what country you're actually in as well. So I'm going to pop into my subscriptions. As you can see, I've got a subscription here. So I'm going to edit my subscription here. 
and cancel and refund so the option is there i think that option would not be there after 10 minutes and this is within the subscription section of your profile cancel and refund see if this goes through we can now see that the for a shout out option is not there which is good of twitch to have removed that because it does encourage it for the shout out the reason is reasons and we get a confirmation to say your subscription has been cancelled we hope you enjoy the service we'll consider resubscribing some other day return to subscriptions so I'm going to refund the refunded subscription because I do feel bad here. I was actually going to leave a comment to say, sorry, I was testing sub refunds and felt bad, so I needed to donate $4.99. But I feel like by doing that, it's probably further like self-promotion. So I'm not going to put the message in there. Uh, I'll just give him the money and he'll probably be a bit confused at why I've given the donation at $4.99. But it, for the sake of this video, I will feel better about myself for giving him this. Razor. I do eventually, but uh, there you go. You're banned now. I mean, you'd already you'd already had your message deleted once, but if you do want to keep being a, <laughs> you can f off somewhere else. <laughs> uh, Dana, Dana, thank you very much for the donation. That's ever so kind of you. Ah, uh, well, there you go. He got the yeah, refund back anyway. The refund of the refund, but without the same... I, yeah, the you get it. James, thanks for being a part of my test, man. And keep up the good work, dude. This guy typically gets between 1,500 and 3,000 viewers at any one time. He's a brilliant streamer, but I did want to test this on someone that was a little bit higher to see whether they would actually do the shout out. I really detest the fact that I actually got the shout out. It kind of, it felt a little bit dirty. I'm not going to lie, but obviously I'm doing this for educational purposes. And really, I, I don't actually think I did get any benefit from that shout out. And in general terms, for any trolls that actually are watching right now, I really don't think this works. You may get shout outs, but I really don't think that many people are going to be clicking on your profile and then following you. The biggest thing that's going to make people actually tune into you, follow you, subscribe to you and all the rest of it, the thing that will make you grow is going to be the quality of your content, the consistency of what you do and all the things that relate to that. So first of all, let's talk about the details of this. Within Twitch's terms of sale, there are details of the refund process. We do a control F on this and type refund. The refund policy is about halfway down on this page, which I'll link in the description below. Twitch do echo what I mentioned here about making purchases and it being usually an instant benefit that you get from that. So they say you have immediate access to and use of the ancillary products and services you have purchased accordingly, except as detailed in these terms of sale to the extent permitted by applicable law. And that's the key bit here. Cancellations are not permitted after a purchase and we do not offer any refunds or credit it's including without limitation fee subscription service twitch reserves the right to modify this refund policy as set forth at any time interestingly they actually do offer a refund and i prove it in the video they also stay unless otherwise specified in these terms of sale are required under applicable law in your jurisdiction games in games items and other digital goods are not returnable after purchase including those purchased in third party extensions so that's a little bit about the actual refund policy and what it says in the contract but the reality is a little bit different you can get a refund on subs and this is obviously not a good thing because it can encourage trolls to get shout outs and things like that particularly on high volume channels although to be fair on the higher volume channels they do tend to shout out less and less in other words what i'm saying there is sometimes it just appears and there is no actual proper shout out so and what's important to note about this is each country has different refund policies for retail goods some are further and forthcoming with digital products than other countries and obviously i've not got time in this video to go through 250 odd different countries worth of return policies that's just not good content okay the point is you may want to look up the refund policy in your own country and see whether twitches will match up to that i think what they're saying here is that it will match up to that and they will obviously have legal people that will have sorted that and squared that off with the relevant policy so they're not into breaking the country law one caveat here is anyone that's using a vpn to access the twitch service may not necessarily get the same policies as somebody within the country that they're physically sat within okay so this caused quite a fair bit of drama there's quite a few articles and stuff out here i'll link a couple of those articles below some of the interesting comments here and tweets twitch we are doing our best to protect our streamers from trolls also twitch here you go trolls here's another zero cost way to troll the streamer that's a side quest for that <laughs> i just wanted to get a shout out so yeah, this is really, really divided Twitter. I'll put some opinions up now on the video so you can see some of the different opinions that people show. In general, the sentiment is that this is a bad thing that Twitch have done. And for that reason, Twitch have removed the option. <sighs> 
Twitch does get a lot of negative press a lot of the time because there's a lot of highly opinionated, outspoken people that are willing to create drama and weigh in and give takes on situations and things. And for that reason, they do get a lot of stick. But I'll tell you what, Twitch is pretty good at reversing decisions when they make bad decisions. And you've got to give them some credit for that. Personally, I don't think Twitch are as bad as people make out. They don't get it right. It's not always perfect, but there aren't very many platforms out there that allow you to do what Twitch allows you to do. And less so those that have any level of criticism critical mass so in some ways they're sort of treading in new territory all the time with some of these things that are happening and in a way paving the way for further development in this field they're obviously not trying to encourage people to refund that would be mental for a company to actually do but equally they're legally obliged to offer refunds in certain countries and territories within a certain time scale some of the options here that people suggested are perhaps to have subs come through 11 minutes later once it's been confirmed the problem with that is anyone that's subscribing to a channel normally subscribes and wants the instant shout out or wants the instant recognition or they may be subbing and then leaving the channel or they want to have some engagement with the streamer there and then nobody wants to wait 10 minutes to have some fun engagement with the streamer streamer that they want to support nobody wants to do that so having a delay on it just isn't going to work thankfully common sense prevails here because to be quite honest this is going to be such a minority of people that do this that it's probably not going to be a problem and let's be honest this is probably being blown out of proportion but now you know the facts as a result of this video i've done the testing for you so you do not have to if you're going to subscribe to a streamer don't misclick don't request refunds unless you absolutely have a genuine reason to do it and best of luck with your own streams and have a wonderful day take care what how have i got 10 kills i don't know how the hell in a game where there's 100 people to get 10 kills that's impossible i'm breaking the oh. law right now we've got we've got 16 all together